All right, good morning, everybody. Let's do this. So, lesson 11, distance and complex numbers. What's the game plan for this lesson? Uh, the first learning intention, students calculate the distance between complex numbers as the modulus of the difference. So, basically, if we have two complex numbers on the plane, right, if I have a complex number here and I have a complex number here, how do I find the distance between those two points? Uh, students calculate the midpoint of a line segment. So like, let's say if this is my line segment from here to here, uh, where is that point that is in the middle in the complex plane? How do we do that? Okay, so what I'd like you to do is for the do now, S.40, just warm up with this, and then um, you could move on to the actual lesson of what I have for you. Let's see if we could do this real quick. It says plot the complex number 2 plus 3i on the complex plane. So if this is 2 plus 3i, where is it? This is 2 and then plus 3i is right here. This is 2 plus 3i. And the question is plot the ordered pair 2 comma 3 on the coordinate plane. So if this is the complex plane, um, where will 2, 3 be on the coordinate plane? If this is the coordinate plane, it'll be in the general same location, right? Where is 2 comma 3? It's just 2, 3, and then boom, this is 2, 3. So notice how 2, 3 and 2 plus 3i are in the same positions, but just in different um, areas. This is in the complex plane, this is in the coordinate plane. So in what way are complex numbers points? Well, they represent here, like this is my x value and this is my y value. This is my x and that's my y. Here, what coordinate plane corresponds to the complex number negative 1 plus 8i? It would just be negative 1 plus, I'm sorry, negative 1, 8. Like here, where is negative 1 plus 8i? It's, um, it will be negative 1 plus 8i. It's right over here. And if I were to do the same thing on the coordinate plane, it would just be negative one and then eight up here. So the same question for here, what complex number corresponds to the point located on zero, negative nine? So zero, negative nine is here. That's zero, negative nine. But on the complex plane, it would be a zero minus nine i, okay? So there are some similarities that are going on between the complex plane and coordinate plane. To actually go through with the lesson, um, let's do it. Here, the game plan one is to find the midpoint of a line segment. So again, if I have a line and I wanna find the center point between this, uh, in the line, then I wanna find the midpoint of that line. And how do we do it? Well, here, Hopefully in geometry, we picked up how to do it. It was using this formula. This is the midpoint formula. So like, let's say if I have this point, right? Let's say I have two comma four. Where is two comma four? Two comma four is one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, boom, that's two comma four. And then where is my other point? Negative three, negative four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. This is negative three, negative four. So the question is, if I have a line that connects these two points, where is the point that is in the center of this line? That's what we want to find out. That's what this midpoint formula will do, okay? Well, let's see. Here, if this is my formula, right? If I have um, x sub one plus x sub two divided by two, y sub m is equal to y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So what on earth is this saying? That here, what is my, what is my, this is my uh, first point, okay? And this is my second point. So here, my x sub 1, this is my x sub 1. This is my y sub 1. This is my x sub 2. This is my y sub 2. This is my first point. So you see how the subscript is, is referring to the one, and this is my second point. So here, I have it right here. This is my x sub one is two. I'm gonna put it right there. My y sub one is four. I put it here. x sub two is negative three. y sub two is negative four. So then let's just plug it in here. Here, what am I supposed to do? x sub one plus x sub two divided by two. Well, let's see. It is x sub one is two plus negative three 
divide by 2. So this is my x sub, this is the midpoint of the x value. And here, what is my y sub 1? It's 4 minus 4, or I'm sorry, 4 plus a negative 4 divided by 2. So here, my value is, this is what? 2 minus 3 is a negative 1 divided by 2. And this is 0 divided by 2. So my midpoint is negative 1 half 0. So what does this represent? This represents the midpoint of this line. So I know my midpoint, I need to go 1 half to the negative and 0. So it should be like right over here. That is my x sub m, y sub m, but that point is negative 1 half 0. And it's okay to have a fraction as a point, even though we're not kind of used to it, okay? But now the question is here, if we did it on the coordinate plane, how does it match on the complex plane? That like, let's say if I have two comma four, well, what's the complex number that represents two comma four? It's two plus four i, right? It would be this point here, It'd just be two plus four i, right? So this is my two plus four i. And then where would negative three, negative four be? Well, that's just negative three minus four i. So that's one, two, three, four. This is negative three minus four i. And the question is here, if I have a line, what is the center point where the midpoint, we use the midpoint formula in the coordinate plane, but then how do we do it when we're on the complex plane? And the idea is we're just going to take a plus b and divide it by 2. And hopefully we get something that mimics this negative 1 over 2 comma 0. So let's see. What is my a? It's 2 plus 4i. Okay, so I'm going to take that a plus b. Well, what's my b? It's uh, negative 3 minus 4i. And we divide that by 2. So then what do I get? I get 2 plus 4i minus 3 minus 4i divided by 2. So then this becomes what? 2 minus 3 is negative 1 divided by 2. 4i minus 4i is 0 over 2i plus. And then this just becomes negative 1 half plus 0i. And notice how these two are very similar in the way they look. And this complex plane, this complex number represents that midpoint between these two points. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So this was midpoint of a line segment. Next idea is distance in the complex plane. And I'll show that in part two.